Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do harmonics. So I've been playing guitar for about 20 years. I'm self-taught, but I'm not the world's best guitarist. But I'm going to show you something I learned along the way that I think is really cool. I love to do it. It's a fun party trick. If anyone asks you to play something at a party um, or at a friend's house, wherever you're at, um, this is a cool little riff. And I made it uh, about 10 years ago. And um, I was watching a lot of Andy McKee and a lot of those fingerstyle guitarists. They're way better than I'll ever be. I even tried to do it. I'm just not that good. Um, but this is kind of a hack. So um, if you have a guitar and you've been playing it and you've been playing chords and all that sort of stuff, throw it out, throw that out the window and just give this a try. So tapping is something that looks hard, but it's actually very easy. And we're gonna focus just on the double dot, the 12th fret. So if you can just get your fingers, your right hand, we're gonna use two fingers, your index and your pointer finger. And the way to tap on your guitar is no different than tapping on your leg or your hand. Um, you just have to be um, fast off of the tap. So whenever you tap on your hand, if you stay, and you can feel your hand staying, you're staying too long. So quickly, just to get used to it, try tapping your hand and try to come off your hand. So whenever you tap, lift right when it touches. So you're gonna tap and lift. So right when you tap, like lift up. And it's gonna be a light, like almost like a, like it's just brushing your hand. So if you do that on the 12th fret, so if you come to the 12th fret and do it on the bar, of the fret, the actual the actual fret itself, right there. If you tap right there, you'll start making a harmonic sound. And if you do it too long, you'll get this type of problem. Okay, the 12 is easy because it's always in tune with the open guitar setting. You know the open tuning. So just go ahead and give it a quick tap like this. Anywhere, anywhere at all. It doesn't matter if it's on a string, a specific string. Just slap the bar, okay? You'll start having it ring out, and if you can make it ring out for a long time like this, it's pretty good. So once you've practiced that for a minute, it's gonna feel kind of dumb because you're not making any actual music. Um, go ahead and take, take the first and second dots, which are the third and fifth fret. Take your index finger and pinky finger and just play that power chord, okay? So those two notes are now taken care of. So now if I slap the guitar while those are being played, it plays the power chord. So it's actually kind of a cheat. You can slap and it doesn't even do a harmonic. It just plays the chord, which means I can get sloppy. So if I'm gonna play this right here, like a pick down here normally, then try to slap up here, just strum right at the 12. So if you play right here like a strum, and just play those two strings. And then you take your finger, and this is the easy part, and you take two or one, doesn't really matter, I like using um, one to start, and just tap the two strings above. Since you're already playing the, the strings below, whenever you tap, when you strum, and then do the tap, like this, just quick, to pull up, pull off, you start getting this kind of cool sound. So I'm gonna try playing down, down, like that, over and over. So watch, so I'm gonna stop it. Down, down. Okay, so let's do that. Notice I'm aiming for just the two strings. So I'm hitting like that. And if you keep doing it. It sounds good. It's really simple. So I'm just doing that, and then I'm going to keep doing that with my index finger. Okay. So what I did there is I moved my hand up to the seventh fret, kept the chord shape the same, slid up, played the seventh fret, and kept playing the same pattern. So what I'm doing here is I'm not really doing anything technical. I'm repeating the same thing over and over, like Daft Punk making the loops, they're just DJing two sounds, right? Two tracks. Think of it like two tracks. So this hand is focusing on these two chords. Kind of 
messing around in there. I don't know exactly what I'm trying to do there, but um, the thing is you can play around with the, with the dots. So you can go. And sometimes I'll hit too high and it sounds like that's on purpose, but it kind of isn't. I'm just accidentally hitting too many strings. But the nice thing is, is you're playing in a focused area that's in tune with the rest of the guitar. So when you're doing this, it makes you sound way better than you actually are. So I'll do the full pattern here. So it's so I'm just going up one half step. So I'm just going up one fret up from the seven to the eight. And if you do that, it just makes you sound like you're extra fancy. Like, wow, that guy can really noodle around on the guitar. So if I start here, the whole phrase. So you can go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just eight counts. Repeat. So that that's that's a really fun riff to play. It's not super hard to learn. And if you want to try something new or different without being, you know, a candy rat artist or Andy McKee or any of those guys. Um, Give this a try because it's really fun to play. I do on every guitar I pick up. It's like a like a, a, a fidget spinner or something. So once again, I'll play all the way through now and just give it a listen. Go back and try it yourself. You'll actually find it to be a lot easier once you start picking up the tap. And it's just a quick tap. You got to be fast. fancy at the end there <laughs> just to kind of try doing more stuff but even then I was just messing around so there's a lot you can do with this and if you want to get extra fancy and you've gotten this down you feel comfortable with it this is a little extra sauce a little extra little tidbit um, you can actually start intentionally hitting the higher strings so you go you can kind of vary the pattern so right now you're doing I'm going to vary the pattern like this when you go high low high low So you can kind of do that to make it sound like it's more rhythmic. Or you can start high. So this is the, this is probably the most frequent version of this I play, is I'll start here on this higher one, because I love a melody that starts high, goes higher, and then rests at the bottom. It's kind of like it starts here, goes up and goes down. It's a very pop punk Y2K thing. I'm 34, so it's part of what I like. Sorry, but I like to start high. It's kind of like a thing, it's called a T structure, but you go here, up, and then down. So I'm going to do that with this slap. So really fun little party trick you can pull out. People will be like, wow, that guy's like August Rush. Um, I've been doing that for years. It's a fun exercise and also opens up new opportunities to try new things with the guitar you haven't tried before. Um, harmonics are a very popular thing in the fingerstyle world, not so big in other music genres. I'm not a fingerstyle guitarist, but I do love doing it um, in any type of setting if I can get away with it. Like. up there. So that's just playing the regular chord, like a G, and then hitting hitting the, the, the harmonic. It's like, you just tap, 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 tap. It plays the guitar for you. It's like strumming, but it's cheating. So let me know what you think. This is my first time making a video like this. I'll probably dress nice for the next ones. 
Um, but thanks for watching and look forward to more. Okay, I see how that goes. Mm -hmm.